we want you to play smart tennis and sometimes your strategy is off and it's not going to help you win more matches. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you the mistakes that are being made in this point and how you can avoid them. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And we've got two players that used to be in the top 150 in the world. One of them is in his late 40s. Another one is in his 50s, who still wins national titles. They're not Federer and Nadal, so go easy on them in your comments. They're still great players, but they also do make mistakes as well, and I want you to avoid them. Also, if we deliver value in this lesson and you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and share it with others. It helps our channel, and we're giving a lot of great free content away. So let's get to the lesson right now. I want you to watch this point between these two players and just pay attention to the pattern being played, where the ball is being hit, and see what you notice. Now keep in mind, the player on the opposite side is a lefty, the player on the near side uh, is a righty. Here we go. And there's the point. So let's break this point down. Lefty serving to the righty's backhand, pretty straightforward. I like how he, where he's staying, he's standing, he's taking the wide serve away. Serves into the body, so he gets a little jammed on the body, and this player has a weaker backhand. I'd like to see him follow through more and not, not just kind of, he looks off balance, right? He's kind of going to the right, doesn't really finish his swing. He should either stop the swing right there or he should finish the swing more, okay? But he definitely got jammed, and he hits a nice return, though. I like this location on the return. It's down the middle to the backhand side, so this is a good start to the point. Now, the lefty knows, he knows that he's playing a righty with a weaker backhand, so it's the obvious shot for him to take this ball back to his backhand. And again, look at this aim right there. It's, it's a good three to four feet from the sideline. This is awesome aim. Now notice this player here. Notice how he's moving backwards to hit this backhand. Okay, so he should actually, it wasn't like this ball is hit too deep. He should actually maybe be a half a step back so that he can move at an angle up to this ball. Instead, he's having to, he shuffles first, which is fine with his footwork, but he's moving back. So he's not really going to get his weight into the shot. Now, Notice how he steps across here, and then he doesn't, I mean, he swings the right leg around, but I'd like to see him swing it around more, okay, and square up a little bit more. Again, I'd also like to see him stop his finish right here. He almost opens the racket face up. It's kind of strange. He should stop right there, or he should finish, he should finish around, let's watch this again, he should finish around his body more towards his shoulder. But he hits this ball back down the line, and look where he hits it, right there. That's good aim as well. So, so far, it's a little bit of cat and mouse. They're both playing just straight ahead here. And look, this player rips a ball, again, eight feet from the sideline. No, no risk of missing this ball wide. Now, this is the ball. Again, look at the movement here. He actually has to move back, and then he steps across his body instead of moving up and stepping into the shot. And he swings, finishes the swing a little bit more, but he shanks it way wide. Okay, so big mistakes are, big mistake happened on that last ball. First of all, he probably pressed and felt like, I've gotta play it closer to the line. If he's gonna go down the line, he's gotta hit this ball right here. He shouldn't even play it close to the sidelines. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I want safe targets, so he should go here. But here's the other challenge or the other consideration is if you just play cat and mouse straight ahead, you're not really moving this player off of his spot. He's just going to stand there. And this player is actually more consistent than this player. So I would suggest the player on the near side take one of these backhands and rip it hard cross court over to the ad court and make this player run before hitting it back over to his back, backhand side and making him run back to his backhand. Just playing straight ahead three or four times, this player's not going to miss. It's just not going to happen. 
So of those balls after the return, the first or second ball should have gone over here to move him and then go back here, let's say two times. So I would say one ball, then two. One ball, then two. Not three balls in a row to this side. So that's my strategy tip for you. One, with the targets, you've got to aim safer. And two, you've got to play one ball, at least cross court, to get that player off the spot. And then you can go back down the line if you want. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Leave your questions and com comments. Let us know what other videos you'd like us to make. We're here for you. Also, make sure your notifications are turned on and you're subscribed to the channel. I've got a free gift for you. I've got a free tennis course to offer you. It's inside our Tennis Evolution app. Click the link in the description below to pick that up. And if you want to learn the three strategy myths and singles that players are making and you don't want to fall for those myths anymore, click somewhere in the video and you can pick that up as well. We'll also give you the solutions to help you play smarter tennis. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today and we'll see you at the next one.